This is how we do it. This is how we, we do, do it. it. <laughs> okay. So yeah, bye bye. Okay. So we're going to model for you. We have the beautiful Heather Arnett and Audrey Wurtonen. You were close. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I knew there were a lot of letters. And, um, and we're going to model the brachial plexus complexities for you, starting with the roots. There are five roots to the brachial plexus, C5, C6, C7, C8, T1, different color because it's a T. So we've got our roots, and then what comes next? We have three trunks to the brachial plexus. Here are our trunks. Um, you can see we're having trunks, trunks, one, two, three trunks. And then we have six divisions, six, uh, six divisions. And, uh, and after the six divisions, we have our three chords. And after our three chords, we have our terminal branches. Get it? Terminal branches, chords, divisions, <laughs> trunks, and roots. <laughs> roots, trunks, divisions, chords, terminal <laughs> branches. We did it. We are the brachial plexus. Thank you. <laughs> Woohoo! That was awesome. Well, I hope you enjoyed our playful uh, brachial plexus dance. Here's a schematic of the brachial plexus just to take you a little further along. Uh, those five roots which we played out with our feet are from spinal nerves C5, C6, C7, C8, and T1. So the roots combine C5 and C6 to form the superior trunk because they're higher up on your, on your vertebral column. C7 forms the middle trunk. C8 and T1 form the inferior trunk, because they're a little lower down on the spinal column here. And then those trunks divide, so they call it the divisions. Since there's three trunks, they each divide. That makes six divisions, easy. And then those divisions recombine. They call it a plexus, because it's like a net. And you can see the net-like quality of this schematic drawing. So the six divisions recombine amongst each other to form the three chords that we played out with our arms. Uh, and those three chords are lateral, medial, and posterior. Uh, posterior chord is kind of famous. That one turns into the radial nerve. Uh, the lateral and uh, the medial kind of recombine to create the median nerve. And we have other terminal branches. People might list the terminal branches one way or another, but axil, uh, axillary, radial, median, ulnar, and musculocutaneous. Uh, would be kind of the famous terminal branches, and yet you can see by the little, little extra, you know, extra threads all along here, that there are actually many more nerves coming off of the brachial plexus. There are cutaneous branches. There are uh, branches going to the musculature around your shoulder area and down your arm, and so these. Uh, uh, this is just a simplification or a schematic. Now. In the A to Z project in course 11, which you can find on my website in the Explore membership, I actually have some, some detailed tracking of the uh, brachial plexus in you know, actual tissue in Anna and Z, which is fun. And I kind of drill uh, on the actual tissue uh, some of the language that's associated with the brachial plexus. And I'm happy to say I've spent the last, I don't know, week dissecting the brachial plexus in my nerve project. and it's even more complicated than I was able to detail in the A to Z project. And there are also a couple of free videos on YouTube that you might enjoy as well. Uh, protect Your Neck is one of them uh, pertaining to the brachial plexus. So I'm just drilling down further and further into my own understanding of the brachial plexus as I dissect it in increasing detail. And I look forward to sharing that content with you again in the Explorer membership on my site. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to study more with me, go to gilheadley.com. There's a ton of stuff there. Enjoy.